and nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show. It's all about growing your food. Uh, the more, if you can grow your food yourself uh, from good soil, uh, then you can assure that you're getting what your body needs. Uh, but how do we get the soil to be good? Uh, how do we get the soil to be mineralized? Well, there's a lot more to it than just organic food. And we have today the man, Don Weaver. He mineralizes the soil or teaches us how to do so uh, so we can get the highest quality food out there. So, Don, why don't you share with us, uh, my view is, uh, who you are and uh, what you do and all that good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, uh, who I am? I'm Don Weaver. I've been on this planet a few decades. In the last 30 years, I've been working on uh, the need for the need for the Earth to be replenished by human beings if we want to keep uh, living and living healthfully on this planet. So my concern has been giving the Earth, the soil, what it needs to regenerate and produce the highest quality food for the highest quality human health and planetary health in general. The health of the agricultural crops, the forests, all the life on earth, all the creatures, all the, uh, where'd that video go? All the earthlings. If anyone hasn't seen the earthlings uh, DVD yet, it's an amazing movie. That'll, it's also called The Vegan Maker. Uh, I think everyone should watch it. But anyway, earth regeneration is what I've been advocating and I think we all need to be advocates of it. Uh, I don't want to be the only one talking about regenerating the earth, so let's all get into it. Remineralize.org is an excellent website to start learning more about how to remineralize the earth with rock powder and add all the organic matter it also needs. And just so we know that this works and you're uh, living proof, uh, you've been on a raw vegan diet for how many years now? Well, since April 77, so a little over 32 years. 32 years, and now you all raw or just mostly? 100% for 32 years. 100% raw vegan for over 32 years, and it's, it worked. And I haven't keeled over yet. And it works because of this. What is this? This is... The real superfood of nature, right? Well, it's, it's basic raw material of uh, the life in the soil. Um, Earth was once a molten rock. It cooled down and somehow paradise sprang out of that molten rock. Basically because microbes started eating the rocks and the finest part of the rock, the rock dust. We can regenerate soils and make them like new by adding generously. And we do need to become the generous species on Earth quickly if we would like to stay around and not have nature uh, fail to renew our lease on life here. Uh, rock dust is basically provides 60 to 92 mineral elements that are found in plants. Broad spectrum rock dust tend to have about 92 and if we add them all together, the life in the soil can pick and choose what it needs to create more life, more fertility and give the plants all the essential compounds that promote health and vitality, mental, physical and spiritual health. If we don't have that in the soil, we're going to be deficient, we're going to be uh, less than we all can be as human beings on every level. So what you're saying basically is, uh, the better the soil the food grows in, uh, the better the food is going to be for our body. It's obvious, especially if you try it yourself, you just grow a small amount of mineralized produce and you'll see the taste and feel the difference generally quite quickly and you'll want to have a garden year after year. and probably keep expanding it and I encourage everyone to try it at least on a small scale. Now where can somebody get rock dust? This is rock dust. Where can somebody get rock dust? There's more and more sources all around the world. If you're lucky you can get it for free at a local gravel pit if they don't have a market for the fines. They call them usually fines or rock dust or gravel crusher screenings. Uh, but there's a lot of commercial sources coming around all over the world. That website I mentioned earlier, remineralize.org, has a resources listing of rock dust companies, suppliers all around the world. So I encourage people to go there, see what might be local to them. Here in the, this area, there's Willits uh, Spare Time Garden Supply. They sell the Gaia Green Glacial Rock Dust, which is a good one. And if somebody wanted to make this by themselves, is it possible somebody could do this on their own? Uh, yeah, it's possible that some people do it by hand, like using a sledgehammer and a railroad tie or some other means of crushing the rock, grinding the rock to fine dust. Unfortunately, I don't know of small-scale grinders, except for a few mining grinders used like in the gold mining industry, maybe costing four or $5,000 to do it on a small scale. Might be practical for some people. Uh, we really need like all these, some of these auto plants that are going out of business to retrofit and start building gravel grinders to grind up the billions of tons of rock powder needed 
to remineralize soils on a larger scale. The Cal Organic, the largest organic farm in California, is now remineralizing their organic acreage. They tried it on 20% of their acreage and they liked the results so much they started adding it to 100% of their acreage. They're using the Suma Minerals rock dust uh, that comes out of the southwest, which happens to be this rock dust I'm, off, I'm showing as an example of very finely ground. This is ground as fine as 2500 mesh, which is super fine and becomes available to the uh, life in the soil really, really quickly. So um, uh, this is one great product, the Gaia Green Glacial Rock Dust. This material here that I mentioned, and if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, this is available at Lingso Garden Materials uh, in Redwood City. Uh, 50 pound bags and that's a great product I've been How using. How much does something like that go for? Uh, usually from about 16 to 20 dollars depending where you get it. And how long will that last somebody? 50 pounds, well it depends how much garden area you're, you're growing on but a 50 pound bag added generously like a pound per square foot which is a lot generous amount equivalent to about 20 tons per acre that uh, would obviously, well it could you could remineralize a five foot wide by 10 foot long bed, a 50 pound bag, 50 square feet. So that's a, a great amount of soil to grow a lot of greens and uh, a lot of produce to start revitalizing one's health and Wonderful. the earth at the same time. And how would somebody use it? Would they just mix it in with the soil or would they just, after they plant it, they put it in? How well, exactly? While you're you use making it? compost, which I encourage everyone to do also, you can be sprinkling it in the compost with every layer of whatever kitchen scraps and leaves and weeds and other organic matter and soil. You just keep mixing it in there and then you'll have it all. The compost will be far superior to the non mineralized compost you might have made. Plus, you add it directly to the soil whenever you, like before planting a crop, it's good to add more rock dust. So like initially, I suggest being real generous and then uh, at least adding sprinklings, or dustings, uh, whenever, you, whenever you're asking the earth to give you something more, first give something to the earth to help it be fertile. Okay, so you would use it the way like you would use cow manure or something like that to well, that's another, I don't particularly recommend getting involved with all the animal byproducts. But by I'm saying products. you use this the same way, it's the same concept to re yeah, a natural This is just a much more natural, really natural fertilizer. source. Manure, of course, is, is natural. Every yeah. ant creature <laughs> produces it and it should all go back to the soil somewhere. Uh, these concentrated feedlots, of course, produce manure of highly questionable value, but even that should somehow be compost and return to the earth maybe to grow trees which we need by the billions all over the world also. The rock dust is a key foundational part of regenerating the earth as a whole. We obviously need billions of trees, billions of fruit trees to produce highest quality fruits on mineralized soil. Wow. All of this of course provisionally only if we care to uh, keep living and being healthy and regenerate the society and the world as a whole. Wow that is amazing and everyone should check that out. Uh, what's your, how could they get in touch with you, Don? Well, I'll give you my email, uh, email if anyone wants to email me with questions or thoughts. Uh, earthdawn at yahoo.com. And then again, the website I help with is uh, the website of the nonprofit Remineralize the Earth. It's remineralize.org. Okay, now, Don, for most of my viewers are going to be very interested because you're probably the one of the longest raw vegans who's been doing it out there, 100%. Uh, how do you do it? Do you just stick to the basics? Yeah, I eat pretty simply. Uh, basically, I uh, eat mostly, I tend to have some juice in the morning and I add some green powders for nutrient insurance since I'm not growing all of my food. And then I tend to eat fresh fruit through the day. I might have a fruit smoothie like bananas and dates and a handful of raisins, something like that. If I feel I need more calories, something richer than just fresh fruit. And then uh, at night after a good workout of some kind, I will usually have a big salad picked from my garden, all kinds of mineralized vegetables and salad and add some, either some avocado or some nuts or seeds or nut or seed butter dressing, something like that. Maybe some vegetable juice sometime in the evening too. And uh, that's pretty much my diet. Pretty much wow. for the last 32 years I seem to thrive on it, but having my own garden with mineralized produce for me has been a key to be super healthy. Check Don's website out at, what was your website? Remineralize.org. Remineralize.org. And uh, this is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show.com saying thank you for watching and we'll join you again tomorrow. Have a great Raw Life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up.